Yes, yes, we are back. Two G's in a pod, your mum's favourite duo, back in the studio again. What are you saying, Andy? I'm good, bro. I'm really good. How are you? Chilling, chilling. I'm good, man. Chilling, feeling. Obviously, tripping. <laughs> uh, yeah, so today we've got a really exciting episode for you. We've got quite a few guests today. Studio's packed out right now. Uh, so should we go like drum roll for like, We really need like, to get sound effects. We need to get like yeah, we do. Me, 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 me. You know, like we're working on it, man. Yeah, it's man. a podcast on a budget right now. <laughs> 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 for real, bro. For real. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're joined by Def Jeff and the guys from Eight Seven. Yo, what's good, man? So yeah, how are you guys? Yeah, we're How's good, man. Going? We're happy, Thank man. you. Cool. So um, for those of you who've been like paying attention to what we're doing in it, um. We actually linked up with 87 not too long ago. When was it that we recorded our like, March time? Right? Yeah, it came about March. Yeah, so um, we did an interview for their, their YouTube channel uh, in March, just talking about you know 2Gs and stuff. And so we're kind of re- returning the favor here. Uh, and yeah, like it was fun doing that thing, man. It was, it was hilarious. Good, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so um, it was. Uh, what are you guys saying, man? Yeah, we're good, man. I mean, we're still waiting to hear from George Smith. Still waiting to hear. <laughs> you, know what, you know what's funny? You know what's really funny, yeah? <laughs> I was thinking, because she did a um a meet and greet today yeah. or something. I was thinking, should we just pull up on the meet and greet? <laughs> and like, well, you've been airing my DMs for a while. Now. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, let's leave him. <laughs> Don't want to be that guy. <laughs> um, Congrats to her, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you guys uh, listen to her album? Yeah, no, I haven't. As of yet, you have. What do you think? I'm not gonna lie. I was into it uh, during the shower this morning. It was beautiful. And last night. <laughs> <laughs> Why in the shower? Because I think you know what, like when when new music comes out, you need to you need to give it the right space to enjoy it. So you just thought in the shower. Yeah. The shower. <laughs> the shower's the, what's the right space. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was beautiful. No, man. It was beautiful. The shower is a good place, yeah. place to it's listen to music. music. I, don't know, I, I just say. have to double check, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, I like the album. You know, I, I like really the album did. as well. I like the album as well. It was very um, it was very teenage girly. But like um, she, she is a teenage girl, though, yeah. To be fair, but I was like, um, basically, yeah. It sounded as if like a fuckboy had just finished messing her, like, messing her around, yeah. And then she was like, let me write an album. Did it have that Taylor Swift vibe to it? Though? No, 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 not as bad. No, as no, as bad. no. I guess had to ask, it? No, it wasn't as bad as that. No, like, it was, it was, it was album, really man. good actually. Yeah, cool. Yeah. I'll definitely check it out. Um, she's she's rapping as well on one of the tracks. Oh, wow. thank God. She got bars, you She's kind of got bars. I actually think I heard. I think I heard that one. Yeah, she was um. It was. She was doing like a Lauren Hill thing, you know, when you rap and sing as well. Yeah. Ah. I rate it. I rate that track a lot. That one. Yeah. I think that's Lifeboats. Lifeboats. Lifeboats Freestyle. Freestyle. Yeah. 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 Um, anyway, yeah. So what's going on with Eight Seven, guys? So we got a lot coming, like as a group and individually. Um, we started out in the podcast as well, discussing like up and coming talents and stuff. Just yeah. To follow on from what we do with our interviews. Do you wanna Do you wanna go into more like detail into as to like. Firstly, like what eight seven is firstly, and then yeah. also like what um what it is that you you firstly what you do and then what you're aiming to get like to achieve with eight seven. Yeah, cool. So eight seven dot co is basically a uh it's, it started because we saw people that deserve an opportunity not make it due to whatever politics or just lack of platform or yeah. whatever. So we we birthed eight seven dot co, which is basically a space for you to tell your story as mm. a creative or as a sportsman or whatever as an up and coming talent mm. and um then we, we just thought oh we go for youtube because we just record our interviews and put it on youtube we have the instagram facebook twitter handles mm. um and the aim for it is the aim for it is to keep it to its core so anything we do needs to come off that story aspect so it, it doesn't matter like what we do podcast or whatever if it's not about the up and coming talent, or that's not the main focus, then there's no point in us doing it, to be honest. I get you, I get so. you. That's good, man, that's good. So, um, what's going on with it now? In terms of, you said you just started a podcast. Yeah, so we started a podcast that like allows us to sort of continue in that path, whilst also giving us some freedom to discuss other topics as well. Um, but I aim to keep it to purely to that, so we'll discuss like how an industry is changed and how it affects the up and coming talent overall so yeah, yeah. in music for example we'll talk about how like it's it may be harder it may be easier to get like the platform to produce your music and release mm. your music but harder to get noticed due to the, how saturated it is as an example that's very true yeah so like stuff like that we'll use as, as, as a platform to talk about some stuff so that's definitely interesting as well because like it's something i've definitely taken an interest in in sort of how 
looking at you see independent artists like because m- uh, majority of people when they come up start off independent, independent and, yeah. uh, and the way that they're leaning towards trying to stay independent mm. but then the difficulties that come with that because yeah like, obviously like you have to build sort of your brand without any major backing behind and you then, and the then get time. the right the right team around you so yeah and what kind of obstacles and hurdles yeah. you have to overcome with that yeah. and you want to grow as well so it's like how do you grow without still keeping your maintain your core fans as well underground mm. fans as well yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly but once you start getting to the commercial side of it you, you lose fans because fans are going to say you you kind of sold, sold out. out yeah that's a funny thing. thing as well that's an interesting one because it's like you, you kind of have to look at it as like what do you want to get out of the the whatever like game you're in because mm. it's like are you trying to are you trying to just appeal to this niche market of like mm. your core original fans yeah or are you trying to blow and be performing stadiums like uh, Adele or something who mm. like appeals to such a wide range of people there's no way you can say that uh, Adele is trying to appeal to the same oh, niche no, market no, that no, she no, was no, going for at the no, start so no. that kind of thing but then you've got to create enough content for your niche mm. do you know what I mean like you still have to create your niche mm. and then grow it from there because like if you look at someone like Stormzy, mm. look at the level he's uh, blown to. Yeah. Um. Somebody could argue that he's not appealing to like his core core fans mm. as he was at the start, but um, it's like would you would you trade uh, the sort of success that he's seen with his music for appealing to the people that were li- listening to his Wicked Skin Man freestyles on YouTube mm. back that in like, true. 2013? No, he, he, as an artist, you have to grow. You have to grow as an artist. So obviously. It's gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna make changes in your career. The higher you go, the more changes you're gonna make to to make yourself a better artist. So, if he doesn't like it, doesn't like it. But and I guess that. it comes down to how you stay relevant, lo- longevity though, mm. and staying true to like yeah. sort of your creativity I mean, and like your art. Yeah, because like yeah. if you use Tiny Temple as, as an example, I don't listen to his yeah. tunes no more. Yeah, it's true. I'm yeah, so I mean, because because he, he went too far away from his base. Yeah, I just started not rating him when he um, you see when he didn't reply to Chip. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, but t- to be quite honest though, he was never gonna win that war. Beef is entertaining, man. That was, it, that it was, but this one was entertaining because it was just a massacre. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, he, he just went in. I don't, I don't, he just went in ch- on ch- him. To run out of bars, man. But yeah, but, but with reference to that, like he also did release a mixtape called Junk Food where I he was that, yeah. actually. Right, he was going in. Yeah, but but, but he lost credibility. No, but Jonathan yeah, is a decent mixtape. Yeah. Well, you think yeah. he, you think he lost cred- credibility because of um, the, 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 the diss tracks? Yeah, because I, he, he, I mean, he did I think, it, before that. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, what made it worse is that Young and then tried to defend his battle, and he lost too. So that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <laughs> so it's just there, like I don't know what to say. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah. 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 My youngest man is what tip. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember that man. I remember that. that was man, deep. that chip made made Perry Perry. <laughs> oh, yeah. People just need to not beef with Chip. Like uh, he has chip, too many bugs. Nah, 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 because to argue that Bugsy came out well from his beef with Chip. Did he? Not from his beef with Chip. Nah, really? Like he he has well, been successful yeah. since, but I don't think he he used to. I don't think the, the beef really helped yeah. him. But like you in the end, yeah. like at the start it did. Because he, he released his track and then there was no reply That's for right, ages. Like yeah. And he grew, so, yeah. yeah, like in that time. But then Chip came back for him quite hard, man. Yeah, mm. yeah I know, that was bad. <laughs> I mean, it was it was bad. It was bad. But I just feel like if you use the beef correctly, yeah, like, yeah. then you can always <laughs> bounce back from it. Because as long as you've gone out and you've actually fought your corner, then, yeah, it's then true. You, get, you get respect in the eyes of the fans. Like, the, like... And you will grow, you will grow your core base as a yeah. result. of The fact that you had a battle, because some people still think Bugsy won the battle, even though most yeah, of us wrong. know <laughs> they're wrong. <laughs> they're wrong. No, 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 they're entitled they're to their opinion. But oh, no, no, wrong. no. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not denying they're all wrong. Yeah. But people still believe he won the battle, and as a result of those people, rightly or wrongly, believing he won the battle, he's got more fans now. So yeah, true. yeah, true. But um, with, with, like with regards to the um the tiny temper versus Stormzy thing, I think versus Stormzy. Yeah, you were talking debate. about... Um, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I think the difference... For me, the difference is Stormzy kind of grew quite organically. Like, it was yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it was more true. of a natural progression. That's true. Uh, like, from making the grime songs to sort of bringing uh, more, like, gospel elements into his music mm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Whereas Tiny Temper just switched, switched up. up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, switched yeah. Up. Just came rhythm to, <laughs> to, come to pass out. To pass, pass out, out, out yeah. Like, yeah. Pass out was a tune, but, like, mm. just completely changed his style. So... You can kind of tell when someone's yeah. doing it, like you, they've just gone completely away yeah. from their core fan base. Really, his first album was not bad though. 
that, that pass out album. That oh, that, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. That it, has some, it has some bad on it. It did. I feel weird about that pass out scene because that song was on Flavor for like three months before it hit number one. Like so, it was on there for yeah. ages, and then one, and then one way, one day, just hit number one, and it was like, oh, pass out, and it was on there for ages. I just remember people at school would be like, I've been Southampton, but I never been to school. Yeah. <laughs> 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 there were girls saying that, and I was like. Well, is that even a bar? Because like, <laughs> I, like, I remember people were like, yeah, yeah, I ain't been to Scum 4 5 and I'm like, <laughs> anyway, who plans? Uh, yeah, <laughs> who plans a trip to Scum 4 5 <laughs> uh, Yeah, so real quick, before we uh, proceed any further, yeah, um, so the sort of theme of today's episode, we're kind of, we're trying to throw it back, UK classics and stuff. I think recently we haven't been given the UK enough love. It's been a bit of an afterthought because there's been so much happening a in lot, America. A lot has happened in the US with, recently. Um, what was it? This is America, Kanye, Pusha T and Drake, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So yeah. uh, we thought, especially with Channel AKA and Channel U um, announcing that they're no longer going to be like mm. operating, uh, we thought it would be good to you know, throw it back, get those tunes from the Channel U days, Channel AKA days, 